What's up, guys? We are back Tuesday, March 24th, and um, I hope we're having fun at home. Pretty crappy day, Monday, I'm looking at it right now. But today we are going to talk about the nervous system's neurons and neuroglia cells. And actually, the nervous system is made up of more of these, I don't know what you would call them, helper cells than there are neurons. And we'll talk about the neuron as well. So let's dive in. We're going to take a look at, uh, we'll take some notes on the different neuroglia. I have all of my stuff that I want to review with you. Wrote it down to make sure I didn't forget anything. Hopefully I'm not going to be as distracted. I know the other day I was like, up, oh, uh, 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 my kids were like running around. One of them tried to put himself into a cardboard box that was literally the size of my hand. And um, anyway, so uh, first we are going to review. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a page. I'm going to call it review. And of nervous system, NS. All right, so I'm going to draw a picture here. Picture is going to look something like this. There you go. Looks great. We got the central nervous system. So the brain and the spinal cord, if you remember. So I'm going to write C and S, which is made up of the brain and the spinal cord. I'm going to go kind of quick. And of course, it is going to send information to the P N S. That's the peripheral nervous system. Everything outside of the brain and spinal cord. All right. So let's say we have information coming in information coming in, information that we are aware of, that we are conscious of, right? So we'll say conscious information, right? What is that going to be? That's going to be somatic information, right? That's somatic. Why? We're conscious. So like voluntary stuff. And this is going to be our afferent nervous system. That's sensory information coming in. So what could that be? What could be a conscious piece of information? Let's say your eyeball, right? If I try to draw one over here, there we go. Right, you got light information coming in. You're conscious of that. Oh, it's light out. The background over here is yellow. There's like some sort of picture up there. Um, your skin, right? That's all conscious information. That's somatic. On the other side of things over here, still in our afferent, meaning sensory information, we have the unconscious stuff, right? So that would be autonomic, or I called it visceral, right? So that is unconscious, you're not aware of that. So what is some sensory information that you're not aware of? That could be your heart rate. Aww. A little heart there. Right? So you're not conscious of that. I'll put that not conscious. All right, so we had the central nervous system, brain, spinal cord, peripheral nervous system. It's um, got somatic versus autonomic. The somatic is your conscious information that's coming into your brain. The autonomic is the visceral stuff, the stuff that you're not aware of, your heart rate, your uh, digestive system, that stuff. All right, and then we have information going out, right? So we have this conscious information that your brain is taking in, and then it's going to tell you to do something that you are aware of. And so we have our um, somatic over here. Again, we're conscious, and these are going to be motor, right? So that's going to cause something. And if it's a somatic motor somatic motor neuron, which we'll get into today, maybe tomorrow, um, you're going to have skeletal muscle. So anytime you have a somatic motor neuron that's innervated, that's activated, you have skeletal muscle. So you're moving. You're conscious of this. <laughs> On the other side of things, uh, with the autonomic, so that's going to be autonomic or visceral, and that is going to be that you're, you're unaware of that, right? Um, so that's going to be smooth muscle. 
that could be cardiac muscle or that could be some sort of gland which we're probably not going to really get into and you're not aware of that now with the autonomic side of things there's two pathways that can be taken there's one that could speed things up and one that could slow things down do you remember what that's called now we have sympathetic and parasympathetic Long words to write here. Right in the sympathetic, that's going to increase the stimulus, increase the impulse to increase it, increase heart rate. Boom, 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 boom. Like one of those. Oh man. And then the parasympathetic, that is to relax. That slows it down. Slows it down. All right. So that's a nice little review of what we did on Friday, or at least what I went over with you. I don't know if you did it or not. And now we're going to get into um, some stuff today. But I'm going to stop that. I'm going to call this one review and then make a new one.